In Cambodia today, the government, conservationists and local communities are working to protect the largest remaining forest wilderness in mainland Southeast Asia. The Cardamom mountain range covers over one million hectares of rainforest across southwestern Cambodia to the border with Thailand. It is an area of immense biodiversity value for Cambodia and the entire Mekong subregion. The vast rainforest acts as a climate regulator and is the major watershed of southern Cambodia. The cardamoms are home to scattered human settlements, predominantly ethnic minorities, who depend on the natural resources and non-timber forest products for their livelihood. The cardamoms are a haven for some 59 endangered species. The Asian elephant population is considered the largest in the region. There is also a small population of the fast-vanishing Indo-Chinese tiger, and the critically endangered Siamese crocodile inhabits its rivers and wetlands. Also found in the cardamoms are the Asiatic black bear, the lesser adjutant stork, and the pileated gibbon. The wildlife of the cardamoms is difficult to spot because of declining populations and the remote terrain. These animals, mostly confiscated from poachers and traders, are cared for at the Phnom Tamal Wildlife Rescue Center. Because of their critical importance for biodiversity, ecosystem services and people's livelihood, the Cardamom Mountains will be the focus of intense conservation efforts under the Greater Mekong Subregion Biodiversity Conservation Corridors Initiative. The BCI, as it is known, was launched by GMS countries in 2005 as the flagship component of the Core Environment Program, with the support of the Asian Development Bank and development partners. The main objective of the BCI and the cardamoms is to create a conservation corridor linking the different protected areas and communities, from Phnom Samkos Wildlife Sanctuary and the Central Cardamoms Protected Forest to the Southern Cardamoms Protected Forest and Kirirum National Park. BCI will build upon ongoing conservation programs undertaken by the government of Cambodia and its NGO partners, Conservation International, Fauna and Flora International, and WildAid. A Forestry Administration Ranger Patrol at Tatai Krom is on the lookout for logging and hunting activities which are forbidden by law. The international NGO WildAid is providing funding and technical training in forest protection for the rangers. The rangers release a rare impress tortoise taken from a poacher. The impress tortoise is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN red list. Before the creation of protected zones in the year 2000, this area was a logging concession. Logging and hunting of wildlife are now illegal but continue on a smaller scale. The rangers discover traps and snares which they destroy. Back at the ranger station, confiscated chainsaws, snares, timber and charcoal highlight the threat to the cardamom's ecosystem. Protecting the cardamoms is no easy task for the rangers. Highway 48 cuts through the corridor area. Until recently, the road was so bad it was almost impassable. Now it is being upgraded to carry traffic from Bangkok, Thailand to Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh. Bridges under construction to replace river ferry crossings are expected to increase traffic flow and reduce travel time. Infrastructure development such as roads and bridges or planned hydropower dams in the future will have major impacts on this fragile environment and the sustainability of its ecosystem services. The new road will mean easier access and inevitably more pressure on the forest. Land speculators and poor landless farmers are moving in, clearing the forest to grow crops. 
làm thành làm tới luôn nhôm miền này ọt miền ấy sao không nhôm sang ấy bàn bàn anh châm côn châm bộ quân The BCI Biodiversity Corridor will extend to the southern cardamoms, which have a distinct coastal ecosystem. At Botum Sakor National Park, rangers from the Ministry of Environment, supported by WildAid, are on patrol in the mangroves of the river estuary. Botum Sakor covers 171,000 hectares, encompassing wetland sites of international biodiversity importance. In the past, the forests were extensively logged and converted to rice fields during the time of the Khmer Rouge regime. Not far from Botum Sakor is the village of Savana Baitong, a settlement of about 200 families who used to live in the forest. Savana Baitong was established in 2003 by WildAid to provide an alternative to the damaging practices of shifting cultivation and wildlife trading. The former forest dwellers were given a plot of land farm tools, seeds, and extensive training in modern farming methods. A drip irrigation system, the first of its kind in Cambodia, enables the farmers to grow vegetables for market during the dry season. Water is pumped from a nearby reservoir for the drip irrigation and sprinklers in the plant and tree nursery. Farmer Nos Him used to clear the forest to plant rice and make charcoal to earn a meager living. But since moving to Savana by Tong, life has improved. Morning, <laughs> The vast forests of the remote central cardamoms are still largely intact. The Central Cardamom's protected forest covers over 400,000 hectares of rainforest, savanna, and wetlands of the Arang Valley. On the edge of the protected area, however, tracts of forest have been cleared to plant crops around the scattered human settlements. In the village of Chomnob, the Khmer Dem, an indigenous group, have lived for generations. Residents gather round a community resource map to discuss their land use plan. Conservation International and the Forestry Administration are working in villages like Chomnob to promote community resource management and alternative livelihoods to protect biodiversity and the forest. Once a year, the whole village gathers to fish in the crocodile ponds. But first they make an offering to the sacred crocodile spirit, Nekta. Conservation International has negotiated an agreement with residents to protect the critically endangered Siamese crocodile, which inhabits ponds and swamps near the village. As an incentive, water buffalo were provided to plow village rice fields. A similar conservation incentive agreement was reached with the people of nearby Tima Dunpov commune. Community rangers patrol a pool in the Arang Valley. They are trying to prevent poaching of the endangered Asian arowana, known locally as the dragonfish. The dragonfish can only be found in three deep pools on the Arang. This beautiful and valuable fish is in big demand for the aquarium trade. As a result, stocks have declined precipitously. As an incentive to protect the dragonfish, CI established a community fund which pays an allowance to people on patrol. Research at the pond suggests that the agreement is working. 
resulting in the survival of dragonfish spawned in the 2006 breeding season. <laughs> Providing basic health services in the central cardamoms is another aspect of community engagement for Conservation International and its partner, Care Cambodia. This clinic provides the first health care in Timabang district. The health center offers prenatal and postnatal care for mothers and infants. It also provides emergency treatment in case of illness or injury, as well as mobile health care for remote communities. <laughs> Near Kirirom National Park in the eastern cardamoms, a group of farmers practice a drill to be used in case fields are invaded by elephants. The idea is to frighten the elephants away before their crops of rice and sugarcane are destroyed. Human-elephant conflict is commonplace during the rainy season when the pachyderms are on the move through this corridor. The NGO Fauna and Flora International and government agencies are working with local farmers to avoid conflicts and protect the elephants. One effective method is to plant chilies on the edge of fields. Elephants can't stand the smell and will keep away from the area. <laughs> The forests in this area have been severely degraded by incessant cutting of trees for timber and charcoal. The BCI Conservation Corridor aims to reconnect the isolated Kirirom National Park with the rest of the cardamoms. In the northwestern cardamoms, Fauna and Flora International is working in the Phnom Samkos Wildlife Sanctuary and the surrounding foothills, which are under pressure from in-migration. Phnom Samkos is a critical habitat for the Siamese crocodile and large mammals such as the Asian elephant and the Indo-Chinese tiger. In the dry deciduous forests of the foothills, FFI is assisting local people to organize community-managed protected forests patrolled by village wardens and is also providing agricultural support to communities as well. There is a wealth of conservation initiatives underway in the cardamoms, pioneered by the government, NGO partners and local communities. They provide a strong foundation for a concerted 10-year program under the BCI and the GMS Core Environment Program. Working together to promote sustainable development, protect the cardamoms and its rich biodiversity, and improve the lives of the people who depend upon its resources.